Did you see old John Gosford last night? Yeah, he was pissed off his face. Aye. Crazy old fool, him. Yeah, yeah. Cider, I think. Uh, something local if you've got it, and um. A G and T, thanks. Yes. That's eight pounds, then. So, my, uh, my wife and I, we're just down for a few days, um, thinking of buying a property, actually. Somewhere local that you could recommend to a couple of clueless tourists like us. Just, uh, bear with me a sec. Just gotta make a quick call. Seems nice enough. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, I could get used to it. I think that cottage was ideal. If we stayed there three times a year and let it out the rest, it'd pay for itself. Uh, and the garden. Sorry, Val. So, how long are you here? Oh, just three days. We want to make the most of it and go hiking across the moors tomorrow. Hmm. Each to their own. Why do you say that? They're moors. They're more dangerous than you think. Oh, do you mean the beast? We've heard the rumours. That's partly why we're here. Jason's into all that fantasy stuff. Call it what you want. But don't say I didn't warn you. Warn us? Well, warn us about what? Well, you have to tell us now. long time ago, before this place was built. A young man, about 18 or so he was, is walking home across the moors. He works at a farm just down the road from him. He leaves late one night. All he has is a lantern for light. But the silly sod decides to take a shortcut across the moor. After about 10 minutes, too far away from the farm to turn back. He is growling. People say it must have been a stray dog, or a fox, or something. But maybe it was. I've seen it with my own eyes. And it ain't no fox. I'll tell you that for nothing. Size of a small donkey it was. Black fur, eyes as big as dinner plates. But of course, there was no one there to see that. What happened to the boy? He can't turn around and go back. Not with that thing behind him. Just keeps on walking and hopes for the best. So, he died? A group of huntsmen found the boy's body the next day. Sniffed out by the hounds. That's awful. That's not even the worst part. The beast had torn out his heart. Oh my god! Jason! Well done, lad. Scared him off good and proper, you did. Now, 
go get yourself cleaned up before your mother sees. Bloody tourists. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>